hey hi everyone so today we are going to solve this problem uh, the problem is special array with the x elements greater than or equal to x cool so you can see uh, there are a lot of thumbs up uh, so this is a very popular problem so what they are saying is we are having a array take care of a non-negative integers cool no problem and they are mentioning that nums is considered to be special matlab there is a one condition based on that we can say if a array is special or not so what is that condition if there exist a number x in the array if there is a one number which is x such that that is a condition there are exactly x numbers into the array that are greater than or equal to x calm down take a long breath come here for the example so this is a nums array 3 and 5 so there is a one number which is a 2 and we can see uh, that a value of x is 2 and we can see there are two numbers which are greater than or equal to 2 and the count of those numbers is 2 so in this case this is a special array so this is not a special array we will come to that later so this is a special array again so there is a number x 3 and there are three numbers into the array which are greater than or equal to 3 okay you can see that this 3 1 4 1 and second 4 there are three numbers greater than or equal to 3 so basically what we have to do is we have to graze over the array and we have to identify if there is any a uh, number x number x so such that uh, there are uh, x numbers into the array which are exactly greater than or equal to that x okay as we saw that example so how can we do that brute force is uh, prepare the frequency array if you don't know the frequency array i will be going to prepare a video on that so frequency array and on that frequency array what we have to do is just uh, graze over all the possible numbers from zero to the highest number into the list and on the top of that just check if for each number if uh, there are x elements such that they the count is exactly equal to the x not getting what i am saying okay <coughs> so we'll go step by step so this is a frequency array what is the largest element into the array which is a thousand right so we will create a frequency or of a length thousand and how to create the frequency array for index in a range of uh, okay for uh, we have to create a frequency array for this nums right number in nums just update the counter so for each number we will be aware about the occurrences into the array that's all that's how we will create the frequency array so simple okay and again the second step is we have to figure out if there is any x number such that there are exactly x numbers so like this only if there is any element x such that for that we will be having exactly we will be having exactly x numbers greater than or equal to that x number okay so in that case we will just uh, try out all the possibilities so possible x in a range of 1001 okay so take a counter or i will just name it better count of elements greater than or equal to x is zero or graze over the frequency array from that possible x or index in a range of possible x to the length of the frequency array or last index of the array and just increment the counter count of element uh, greater than equal to equal to x which is not one which is a frequency array of index if a count of element greater than or 
equal to x is equal to possible x this is a condition which we are talking about so let me resolve this typo if that is the case return that possible x value else return minus 1 as expected okay let's run this and let's submit this yeah it worked so this is a brute force okay f brute force so what is the optimized solution instead of a for each possible x grazing over the entire array what we can do for each array right so i will show you with this example so zero will be having a zero comma one comma two comma three comma four so that is a frequency array indices indices okay uh, then uh, there are frequency so this is example three okay so what is the frequency of a zero it is a two one frequency is zero two frequency is zero sorry three frequency is a one and four frequency is a two so for each possible number what we are doing is we are just grazing over this frequency array again and again rather than what we can do is uh, we can just create the suffix sum or we'll just create the sum from the back end like this just take a look so this two okay let me do it this way so this two will get as it is and we will add a one into this two which is a three again we will add this zero into the three which is a three again three again five so this is a suffix sum so we will let like we will understand what is a prefix sum and suffix sum into the another video so no issues about that so you can see this is a suffix sum now we are having the possible numbers right 0 to 4 now we can directly just graze over it and we can check uh, if there is any index uh, which is having a equal number of uh, elements greater than or equal to x which is 3 in this case this is a 3 and number of elements greater than or equal to 3 is 3 in that case which will just return this okay so we can just copy paste this frequency array this operation so we have copied that again take a suffix sum so for index in a range of length of a frequency array minus 2 so this is how uh, we will iterate backwards into the python so we'll cover this in deep into the another video index plus one okay now graze over the possible x in a range of 1001 if possible x is equal to equal to frequency array of a possible x then return possible x else return minus one let's run this yeah it is working fine so the time complexity of this solution will be O of 3n because we are iterating three times n is a maximum number into the array so which is a o of n and space complexity is also o of n yeah that's all by the way this is a really good problem uh, for the prefix sum or suffix sum whatever it is chalo bye